Gary Ellison testified under oath today in federal court about his role in the collapse of Island Air six years ago. The sudden bankruptcy shocked employees who are still trying to get back pay and damages. Daryl Huff was there as the owner of Lanai claimed he wanted to keep the airline alive. Larry Ellison bought Island Air to provide high quality service to his resorts on the island of Lanai. But it wasn't long before he found himself in a high stakes financial game of chicken over who would have to save the airline. Larry Ellison in the light blue shirt gave us a wave as he slid into court surrounded by attorneys and his investment manager this morning. Ellison was called to testify over the bankruptcy of Island Air in November 2017, which left 400 employees unpaid and in shock. We actually thought that we were going to do good. I guess we just assumed that everything was going to be all right for us. That was a fair assumption. The airline had brand new planes and Oracle billionaire Larry Ellison backing them. At the time, he owned a third of the airline in partnership with a team financed by this man, Jack Suey of Panda Travel. But the airline was losing more than a million dollars a month in competition with much bigger Hawaiian airlines. On the stand, Ellison said Hawaiian did everything they could to run us out of business. In the months before the shutdown, as insurance and leasing companies demanded payment, Ellison admitted he stalled providing more cash. We wanted Jack Suey to fund it before we did, Ellison said, to pressure him. Suey testified he didn't have any more to give. His team closed the airline with two days' notice. We love our passengers and each other. So we're just here working just, just because. We love that, you know, we love, uh, we love Island Air. <laughs> Ellison said he cared about those workers and would have prevented the shutdown if he'd known beforehand. We had no idea that they had laid off employees without paying them. Ellison lost over $67 million on Island Air and the jury could hold him and his former partners liable for more than $30 million more in back pay, penalties and unpaid debts and potentially even punitive damages. The term reclusive billionaire is a pretty fair description of Larry Ellison. We wanted to talk to him about other subjects, but he refused. Reporting from Federal Court, Daryl Huff, Hawaii News Now.